Hi, it is Friday the 21st of August. It is five to eight in the morning. And today I am getting my vlog on because we are having our summer house delivered finally. So I thought it might be quite fun to vlog the process. And I thought it'd be quite a nice keepsake for us as well. So it's, we've just had a text to say it's due to be delivered at about half eight. So we have to just quickly get up and move our cars so the front of the house is clear ready for it. Um, we've got a bit of a team of helpers, lads from the family coming around at about 10 to help get it into the back garden. And then we have the whole weekend, including Monday, clear to put it up, paint it, put all the stuff in. Um, I've already had great fun uh, purchasing all the bits for it. We've had the furniture for ages. So um, uh, I will show you what I've got a bit later today. Um, and what else am I gonna tell you? Yeah, we have our main concern about it arriving is getting it into the back garden. So um, I will show you what the garden's like in a minute. Um, we don't have any access to the back garden that's not through the house or garage. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But other than that, I think it should be quite straightforward. We have to go to screw fix in a little bit and pick up a spray gun to paint it with, which would be fun. Um, and yeah, I will film all parts of the process and see how this day goes. But I'm so excited, I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> so here's the garden. This is the spot where the summer house is going. You see we've already got the slabs down, they've been down a few weeks. Um, the area is clear, we've got everything piled up over here, so we've got plenty of space. But as you can see, the only access to the garden is through that garage door. So um, we've got a lane that runs around the side of the house. So I think it's gonna have to come down there and up and over. So hopefully the panels won't be too heavy. We got, I think four, strong men come into join pool um so hopefully they'll they'll make short work of it but i'm really keen to just get in there and get pinged in it <laughs> so yeah i better go have some breakfast before our uh, delivery guy arrives arrived all went to plan with delivery um it's 20 past nine now and we're just waiting for our little team of helpers to arrive in about half an hour or so so i just thought i'd quickly take 10 minutes to show you um some of the bits i've been collecting um for inside the summer house so we already got the furniture um right at the beginning of lockdown and we've been using that for a while it's just like a rattan corner group um, with grey cushions and I've also bought a gorgeous big rug um, so I've got lots of bits to kind of work around the colour scheme. We're going to paint the inside completely including the floor um, a really dark grey because I want to make it cosy and warm. I want it to feel like a room not a shed. Um, if anybody calls it a shed they get in trouble um, and I'm also going to tent the ceiling in uh, calico fabric which I have right here. So Claire is uh, coming to my rescue to stay with her sewing machine and I'm going to sew that up. I've just got like um, neck curtain wires to string it across. But I thought A, it would kind of make it feel a bit more cosy. So I'm going to drop out a shot like that. Um, and B, it would catch any spiders. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> so I have bought some cushions. I got these two. These were the first I got. They're really cool. The pom-pom trim I've got the blue and the grey those were from Aldi Lidl Lidl they were and I think they were 5 99 each so I bought those really before I think it was like literally like a week before lockdown so 
we hadn't bought furniture, we hadn't thought anything about it, but I just liked them with the pom-pom trims. So they were like the start of it all. Um, then I've got this one, it's just like a teal, velvety, it's really, really soft. And that was from Dunelm, it was 10 pounds. Really nice one. Paul's going nuts because he hates cushions. <laughs> I think this one's one of my favourites. This I couldn't resist. It was from Marx's and I think it was £15. Yeah. Got it a couple weeks ago. They had these in different colours. I love it so much. And then this one's really cool. This one was from Dunelm as well. Um, it doesn't say the price. I think it was about £12. But it's nice and big and it's got this cool like... Um, What's the word? Quilted pattern. And it's got this turquoise trim, which I really love. So they're going to be really cool. And they all pick out colours in the rug. So they should look really good. Sorry, I'm just piling them all back up there. Otherwise, it's going to end up total carnage. Um, so mum is getting us like a little metal wall shelf. Um, sort of unit thing. It's only quite small. Um, so on there, I've got a pot plant, which is a string of hearts in a really nice pot and i've got this really nice photo frame which i put my favorite photo of me and paul in that's from next i think it was about six or eight quid i can't remember not too bad um that's boring things in there like bulbs and such um i got a really cool a really nice um candle to go on the table it's a wood wicks which i believe is from Yankee Candle and it's one of those ones with the wooden wick so it crackles like a fire oh but it's called Island Coconut and it smells like um like pina colada <laughs> like nice sun cream then I've got all this stuff that my best friend bought me for my birthday and she bought it as like a breakfast set or something but um I I saved it because I thought it'd be perfect for the summer house so we've got this gorgeous like carafe for filling with like water or probably wine <laughs> i did think that it would make quite a cool vase as well but we'll see um it's really exciting it's like getting my birthday present all over again because we literally just put it straight in the loft when she gave it to me no, I'm back. sorry oh and he's talking through your battery <laughs> that's all right come and go it. that's why it's gonna go today that's all right come and chat in the bed It's so sweet how she did it. She um, got this tray, which is one of those cool ones with the fold down legs, and she kind of arranged it all on the tray and like, gave it to me like that. So um, she got these like really pretty napkins, which the pattern is not dissimilar to the rug. Um, and then there are oh, these really nice wine glasses, which I thought really good they got a lower centre of gravity for being outside, which is cool. Um, I think we've got mugs, a grey one, and a pink one, which is really pretty. I think even though like the walls are going to be dark, it's going to be quite um, colourful in there, which is what I really want. That's another glass. Um, there are bowls oh yeah i forgot the bowls were dark blue they're lovely really cool dark blue bowls i think these are all like here absolutely lush and i believe the plates are pink hexagons they're so nice so the plan is once um once we've got the summer house up which i'm hoping will be today and it is painted, which I hope will be tomorrow. Um, Paul and I are hoping for a, a nice evening, nice quiet evening in there with some Prosecco. And I'm going to do, get like a picky tea and we'll uh, while away a few hours. I've got a really nice lamp, which I'll show you later because that's downstairs. Like I said, I've got the rug and I've also got some like fairy lights to go in there. So I think it's going to be cosy. So um, hopefully during the next couple of days you'll see all this going in, but I just thought I'd show you now because I know people would have questions about where it all came from. Anyway, do excuse the mess in here. Normally I like tidy it up when I podcast, but 
there's no time for that today. <laughs> right. Good morning, it is day two. Um, we made really good progress yesterday, but it was hard work. Um, the instructions said that it was a two man build. But we had four men here and it was tough. So um, yeah, it was a really busy day and we were all knackered by the end of it. Um, the whole house is in complete turmoil. I don't know how, even though it's all happening in the garden. I've got a rug here. I've got cushions off the garden furniture in the second bedroom. I've got piles of stuff for the for the summer house in the third bedroom. It was just trashed. <laughs> so that's a bit stressful, but it's okay. As you can see, I'm very tired. Um, so today, the weather is really not in our favour. Um, we got some really heavy showers yesterday, but it didn't stop things too much. But today... It is really pouring down. So we're hoping we need to rehang the doors. We need to put some bolts and fixtures and things on the doors today. So we're hoping to do that. And there's a few other jobs that need doing inside. It does have a roof on now, even though the roof is not felted yet. So we can sort of safely do stuff inside, I think, without getting too wet. Um, and then we're hoping for a drier day tomorrow to crack on with the painting. So... That's kind of the plan. Paul is at Tool Station. I think it's like our maybe our fourth visit to either a screw fix or Tool Station in two days. But there we go. That was probably to be expected. Um, and I will show you our progress throughout the day. So this is how it's looking this morning. Pretty good. Some of the jobs for today. Um, the doors, these doors have been hung, but they need rehanging because they don't close and then the the bifolds need to go on um we have to attach the floor to the walls here there um and lots of other jobs basically at the moment it is dry so we will see what happens Sunday and we are getting ready to paint. We had a good day of progress yesterday. I didn't film much because um, we were so busy. It was just us yesterday. So we were so busy. I didn't get a chance to film, but um, we managed to get all the doors finished, which was a nightmare. Um, lots of on and off with the door. Um, we, what else did we do? I started painting inside the doors, just sort of cutting round all the frames and stuff but today as you can see we have the paint sprayer i'm very excited i've just had my first little go i think you can just see it on my shoulder um we've got my dad and paul's dad coming to help with the roof um <laughs> sorry i just put a paul over there paul <laughs> he's protecting his eyes from the paint spray um yeah my dad and paul's dad are coming to help uh felt the roof and uh, Paul's mum and my best friend are coming to help me paint. We're going to paint the outside as well as the inside because it was just too difficult to kind of keep the paint, you know, around the doors 
from coming outside but that's fine I think it'd be really nice painted so yeah we're on good a good track to be finished and using it by tomorrow which is the hope so I will uh, share our progress with you today Hello, it's Sunday afternoon and as you can see I am showered and made up um, because we are kind of done for the day, sort of. Um, we've had a really good productive day. Um, the dads and Paul got the ash felt on the roof this morning. Um, me and Paul's mum uh, got a good uh, start on the paint and we have painted it. It's finished outside and it needs one more coat inside. We bought one of those spray guns and it was the best thing we have ever bought. It was so quick. So we're off in a little bit for afternoon tea at my parents' house with Paul's mum and dad. Um, and we are hoping that when we get back, we'll be able to do one more coat on the inside so that we can let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow should be all the fun bits. All Paul has to do tomorrow is, I think, seal the windows. But I am free to faff to my heart's content putting bits in and titivating then I'm going to go shopping buy us all the bits for a nice tea and we're going to spend hopefully most of the afternoon and evening relaxing in there so it's been a really good progress day so I'm going to sign off for now and I will see you tomorrow hello happy Monday uh, we are hopefully on the final day of the summer house build um, but we've sort of ground to a slight halt in that there's a few patches inside that are still wet. So at the moment we've got the fans going in there. Paul's doing just a couple of sort of little snag bits around the outside. And so I'm just sort of waiting. I've already been and bought our nice food to eat in there later. Um, I have put all the new like crockery and stuff through the dishwasher. And I am just attempting to build the lamp. Ah, that's good. You can see the box in the background. So that's what the lamp looks like. Just got the shade out of the um, box. So I'm going to have a little go at building that so it's ready to go in. I've already bought some flowers to go in there on the table. You can see in the background. I'm just waiting. And I need to go and dry my hair. Okay, so I will speak to you later.
<laughs> Still filming. It's alright. It's coming. Hooray! Hooray!